Now that we've created an Onshape document, it's time for us to import objects. The first object we will be importing will be the mbot base, then we'll import the line follower, and finally the auxiliary wheel. And the way that we will assemble it would be we will match these two holes of the base with these two holes of the line follower. And then we'll put the auxiliary wheel on top. Click Insert New Element, click Import, go to your Make Block folder, go to your Structural Parts folder, click on MBOT Base, Open, click OK. You'll see that the MBOT Base was imported here. Let's import the other two. Click Insert New Element. Click import. This time go to the electronics folder. Click on line follower. Open. Since the line follower is made up of several smaller parts, we want to create a composite part out of it. So click create a composite part when importing multiple or non-solid bodies. And click OK you'll see that the line follower was imported down here. And it's a composite part, so it's one single part. And then click on Insert New Element again. Click Import. Go to the Wheel and Motor. Insert Auxiliary Wheel. Click Open. Though it's made up of two different parts, we are not going to click this. I'll show you how to create a composite part from within the document. Click OK. And the auxiliary wheel was inserted here. Now let's create an assembly. Click Assembly 1. Right click, rename it. Rename it to Main Assembly. Click Insert, click on MBOT Base, click Check. Notice how the MBOT Base was inserted into the assembly. Rotate your view of the MBOT Base. Click on the surface of the MBOT Base and you'll see the Triad Manipulator come up. Click and hold the center of the Triad Manipulator and drag it to the center of the base. And then right click, move to origin. Click on the camera option, click isometric to put it in isometric view. Notice the arrows of the triad manipulator. This arrow pointing at Y, we want that to point at Z. So right click on that arrow and click align with Z. And notice that the base is oriented the way we want it. Now click outside of the base and then right click on the base and select fix. This base is now fixed on the assembly and it won't go anywhere even if you drag it. You could also check if it's fixed by looking here on the instances and you'll see part is fixed. Now let's insert the line follower. Click insert and click where it says composite parts. Click on line follower, click check. Now drag it in front of the MBOT base and let's rotate the view. Click on the line follower until the triad manipulator shows up. Center it and use the triad manipulator to orient it the way it should be. So by clicking and dragging here, I could flip it this way. And then by clicking and dragging here, I could move it in this direction. So now you'll see, so click outside, and now you'll see this is oriented the way it should be. So click on Fastened Mate, and what we want to do is we want to fasten 
we want to select this hole and make sure that the make connector lines up at the middle of that hole and then and hover your mouse to this hole until the make connector shows up click then accept that fasten the make orient your mbot to isometric again and you'll see that those two parts are now connected even if i drag it out now before we insert the auxiliary wheel we need to go to the auxiliary wheel part studio and we want to make a composite of the auxiliary wheel because it's made up of two parts the hub and the wheel to make a composite click on composite part and select both entities the hub and the wheel and click check now we'll get a composite part of the two so let's rename the part to auxiliary wheel Let's go back to the main assembly. So click insert, click composite parts, and unselect parts. Click auxiliary wheel, click check. And we have both the wheel and the hub together. Click on the part for the triad manipulator to show up. Drag it towards the center and move the wheel along this axis and then this way click outside of the wheel now we're ready to put them together use fastened make click on this hole until the make connector shows up and then click here Click check. Congratulations, you've successfully fastened two parts to the base. Insert the ultrasonic sensor. Make sure to click create a composite part. Click OK. So here's the ultrasonic sensor imported as one composite part. Insert that into the main assembly. And on your own, attach it to the MBOT base. It should look like this.